Hi guys, welcome to episode 8 of our light measurement series. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the brand new Evo 4 120 from Sunlight and Austria. Sunlight is the top brand of LED makers in Europe and they brought out their brand new model at the beginning of July. They sent me uh, two lamps to test them and now I'm gonna show you the lamp and do the unpacking of the Evo 4. The lamp comes in a very nice carton in a box that you can see here with the equipment uh, like cables and dimmer sold separately. I'm gonna open up the lamp now. The carton here folds up. See the inside with a very nice cover sheet here which gives you all the information about the lamp which type of lamp we have and for which length it is. Here we have the Evo 4 120 in this box. Here in, on the first page we have a quick start guide on how to connect the lamp to the electricity and also how to hang your lamp correctly inside your tent. This is very handy when you have to install the lamp and you are a noob, you're doing this for the first time. Here's the special tilting you can do for the easy tilting system of the lamp. So you can not only hang it straight, but also a little bit tilted, which we're gonna do in our measurement. And then last but not least, you have here uh, the IP65 protection. This means you can also spray water on it without destroying the lamp, which is very good in our wet environment we have in growing cannabis. Here on the back side, we have the different components that are available from sunlight for the Evo system. You have here the edge connector, which I can show you in reality as well. Here is the edge connector. This edge connector is used to daisy chain the lamps, which means I use one connector cable. This is the electricity connector cable. This connects to the edge connector here. And then I can connect two lamps to this edge connector with the special lamp connection lamps. And then I only have one electricity cable and can supply two lamps with the system. And then you also have the magnetic dimmer here on the list. Here he is in reality, comes also sold separately. The magnetic dimmer looks like this, it's connected to the side of the lamp. And once it's connected, you use this little key to tap on the dimmer, this or this way, to set the different settings for the dimmer. And then the next thing here on our list are the interesting links. Connecting to the website from Sunlight, you have here the operations manual, the care instructions and the online shop. In the pictures on the very end, you can see the highlights. Sunlight uses Seoul and Osram LEDs. It is IP65 protected. It has passive cooling and maximum homogeneity. It is easy to tilt, as you can see with the easy tilt system. Those are those holes here at the holder on the frame. And then it has very nice secondary optics. So now, the exciting moment. Let's take her out of the carton. She's very well protected. Ta-ta! This is the new Evo 4 from Sunlight. Look at the build, it's amazing. Very sturdy lamp, much lighter than I expected. Aluminium build, very nice passive cooling. It looks like a little bit like a spaceship. Here you have the connection for the electricity and then on the other side for the dimmer. And now I'm gonna hang up two of those lamps inside our Homebox Ambient Q120 Plus. Daisy chain them, let them run stationary for half an hour and then do a power and light measurements. The Evo 4 from Sunlight. setup that Sunlight recommends, either on the website or also in the instructions that come with the lamp. 
you can see in here the two lamps are hung at water level 70 centimeters distance to each other which leaves 25 centimeter distance on each side of the lamp to the walls and they are also tilted in this setup meaning each lamp is tilted a little bit inwards by 11 degree i can show you in detail later how you hang it up to tilt it and the recommended height above the plans that sunlight says is 30 centimeters so from the middle of the lamp to a sensor which is down here from the part 200 I have now exactly made 30 centimeters in measuring distance. So this is now the setup in which we're going to do the light measurement after it has been running stationary for half an hour. And now I'm going to show you the details of hanging it tilted and also how to dim, uh, use the dimmer correctly. Here you can see in detail now how I've hung up the lamps inside the tent. Instead of using the middle hole, you use one hole to the side which tilts the lamp by 11 degrees and the two lamps now shine to more towards the middle. We also have to set the dimmer to 100%. I can show you here, this is the magnetic dimmer. If you tip on it, you can see it is one light, zero lights. So now we have 40% of power, six, and this is 100% of power. Each time I dip, it decreases by 180, 60, 40. And now again, 100% of power, this is what we want to measure. And then if I turn around the key and use the black side, I can turn off and turn off the uh, sunrise fade, meaning this will turn on the lamp more slowly and it's a more natural way for your lighting for the lamps. For the measurement, I will turn off the sunrise fade. As, yes, and now we have 100% power in both lamps and tilted lamps in our setup. This is the power measurement of our EVO 4 120 from sunlight, measured in the 120 centimeter tent. The energy local for 1000 shows 235.4 volts and current of 2.17 amperes. And this calculates out to a total power consumption of 505 watts or 511.4 volt amperes and a power factor of 0 0.98. So the two lamps which are daisy chained together totally draw a power of 505 watts. After having finished the measurement of all 144 of our measuring points on our grid, uh, we have seen that this lamp has a fantastic homogeneity and also very high maximum values. Here you can see the results of our plot in detail. Here you can see the light plot of the measurement of two Sunlight EVO 4 120 hung inside a 120 cm tent. The two fixtures were hung at 70 cm distance to each other and tilted inward at 11 degrees. The distance from the sensor to the fixture was 30 centimeters. The measured power consumption here was 505 watt. The BPFD sum is 126,562. The BPFD average is 879. The BPFD per watt is 1.74. The BPFD Minimum value is 563 and is in the upper right corner. The BPFD maximum value is 1086 and is in the lower left quadrant. The homogeneity is 0 0.64 and the inhomogeneity is 0 0.52. Here in this measurement, I was very curious about the homogeneity values because normally in a system with two fixtures, you would expect to have less homogenic light than in a spider system like the Lumatec Zeusis. But to my surprise, the measurement shows the light is equally homogenic, the homogeneity value is the same, while the EVO uses less power, 100 watt less power than the Lumatec, and she delivers higher BPFD values. So all in all, we have a same homogeneity of the light, but higher BPFD values at lower power consumption, therefore the sunlight beats the Lumatec on every aspect. I'm thrilled to see this and I'm flabbergasted about this result. Seeing those great results in the light plot, I can conclude that the Sunlight EVO 4120 is a high quality product, very easy to install, very quality, high quality made. I love the frame, it's very light, 5.1 kilogram per fixture. The connector system to daisy chain it is high quality. It's IP65, so you can easily spray water on it. 
I'm very, very excited about the system, also about the results. So I hope you enjoyed the measurement in this part of the series. See you next time. Aloha.